Hey everybody, so I have some big news to share. We are announcing the creation of the first ever White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention. All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office and uh, getting ready to do a video on, of course, Kamala Harris. Uh, it, it's really interesting about how that slap bag, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, she's just a, a disappointment. And, and it's amazing to me how the entire world is jumping around her and support. She's amazing. She's just, and everybody's uh, asking these other people, like, why are you going to vote for her? Well, she's a woman and she's black. And I'm like, well, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump because he's a man and he's white. Does that make me sound like a racist? Well, you know, you never know. I don't care either way. Uh, before we start, there was a uh, Project 3 of 7. A uh, guy was in the SEAL teams. He was a, uh, what do you call a breacher? Really cool dude. Long-haired hippie. Big old long beard. I love him to death. Actually, he's really started watching his videos. He's a cool inspiration. Uh, a go-getter, in other words. And uh, was watching a couple of his older videos, and he made me start rethinking and reevaluating my whole approach to how I do things uh, specific to what's behind me right there. And uh, yeah, pretty cool dude. Uh, three of seven project. If you haven't heard of him, get on over there and take a look at it. All right. So let's get on to this thing. This, I, I started thinking about this because if you remember a while back, you know, uh, you know, the Biden, the old dude in the white house uh, tapped Kamala Harris to lead the new white house office of gun violence prevention. And it's, this article came out, Colleen Long, it's in the AP, uh, last year. Okay, so I'm just going to go over some few points in the, in the article that uh, really make me sick because I've done my research. In 2020, when Joe Biden became president and the lax laws made it so that the African-American communities are experiencing the most increase of gun violence of all time, but nobody's doing a damn thing about it. And it blows my mind. They all want to go back to the weapons of war. The weapons of war don't do shit. It's the Glocks. It's all the other things that are in the hands of people who shouldn't have them. Kids. Kids, kids, kids. And, and look at here. I'm just going to show this to you real quickly. Okay, you ready? I showed this before in an article. I didn't make it anywhere. Total firearm death rates for children and adolescents by rate ethnicity from 2018 to 2020. And if you look in the section right here, and I'll zero in the black section, okay, whites really didn't change. Hispanics went up a little bit. Uh, Alaskan and Native people, I don't, you know, they really didn't. They just stay where they are anyway. But under the black adolescent and the children, the increase started in 2020 and then jumped up to an increase and it's still not stopping in 2023. I hate to see what it's going. So for me to hear that some jackass named Kamala Harris has been assigned for a year now, I want to see how she's done. Show me the statistics. Okay. KFF. Uh, I think it was KFF. Yeah. Put out this study. I put the link down below. President Joe Biden has asked vice president Kamala dumbass Harris to lead the first ever federal office of gun violence prevention which will seek to find ways around congressional inaction to stem rising violence. The congressional action should be, let's reestablish the laws that you've pretty much shit canned, and it will be, should be just fine. How about that, Joey? Harris, a former prosecutor, and I'm so sick and tired of hearing about this prosecutor, and, and knee dweller, if you know what I'm talking about, has years of experience on the issue and was in the natural fit to lead the effort. White House officials said adding that the new office to her portfolio means Harris is tasked with some of the highest profile domestic issues, including voting rights and abortions, uh, as well as an increase in migration to the U.S. <laughs> hmm. How's she doing on that one? Well, she's done real good. They've, they've increased the uh, migration, illegal migration. These are unlawful people who are in this country. Uh, but they're also among the most fraught, difficult to solve, hard for Democrats to make headway on, and in Congress. Throughout her career, the vice president has worked tirelessly to protect people from gun violence. I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, oh, a domestic policy aide to Harris. The vice president feels the urgency of this issue on every family as she grieves with and from students across the country who are fighting for their rights to be safe from gun violence. And again, what they're doing is they're going after our beloved AR-15 in order to do this thing. It's absolutely the office fulfills a key demand of gun safety activists. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, issue front and center. Biden pushes for a ban on so-called assault weapons and works to mobilize voters. It, okay, I'm going to quit my bitching. 
Uh, they talk about mass killings, everything else. But where the big difference will be is if they can go in to these communities and work with individuals to help save their lives. That's what they'll be doing is they will save their lives. But what they don't want to do, they don't want to do this because it's just like anything. Uh, asking for voter ID is racist. Uh, to asking that certain communities are more uh, affected by gun violence with teens because these kids are going out and shooting themselves just because some guy said or dis- something disrespectful to some other dude. This is the part that makes me sick that then these assholes will not enforce the law. No cash bail. So anyway, that's my rant for Sunday. Uh, this week's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, man, if I can, I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to let my wife leaves and then I'm going to break out the, uh, the, uh, flamethrower. It's going to be a blast. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the hammer. Don't so support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24 seven for our freedom. Cause freedom is not free. Yeah. Three of seven. Look at all that stuff back there. Oh, and there's Richard's rifle. Guess what, Richard? We're going to jump on that thing here this week, too. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.